As we head towards the end of the summer 2024, let's take a moment to assess the current state of the Darien, Connecticut real estate market. In this update, we'll delve into the latest trends and data and offer insights to enhance your understanding of the market as the summer begins to wind down. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hi, my name is Charlie Vinci. I am a former construction business owner turned real estate agent. And my family's been right here in Connecticut's Gold Coast for five generations. Buyers, you'll keep from missing opportunities and avoid overpaying with my approach. Sellers, you will net the most money with my experience positioning your home for profit and by introducing your home to our vast network of buyers. Call me when you're ready to buy or sell. In July, the median seller in Darien received a whopping 108.5% of their list price. In other words, half the sellers earned 108.5% or more of their asking price. Last year in July, the median percentage of list price was 101.6%. And in 2022, it was 105.1%. Let's take a look at the five-year trend. Wow, 108.5% of list price. This is a very strong metric. While the towns of Greenwich, Westport, and New Canaan hovered around 102%, Darien prices are soaring. You might notice that it's more than 3% higher than the peak COVID market in July 2022 and very close to the all-time high. The median seller in Darien took nine days to sell their home in July. Last year, it took them 16 days to sell in July, and in 2022, it took the median seller 16 days to find a buyer. Check out the five-year trend. Nine days is very low. Remember that the home needs to be shown, the lawyers need to draw up the contract, both sides need to review, edit, and sign before it's officially off the market. It seems that there's no time for an inspection and Darien buyers are often waiving their inspection contingency in mass in order to get under contract quicker in Darien. In theory, if we didn't get any new homes to sell, we'd have enough inventory in Darien to last us another 1.9 months. In July 2023, we had 1.8 months of inventory, and in July 2022, we had 2.7 months of supply. Take a look at the five-year trend. At the end of July, there were 34 homes for sale in Darien. At the end of July last year, we had 39 homes for sale. And in 2022, we had 72 homes for sale at the end of July. Check out the five-year trend. If you want to see everything currently available in Darien, you can do a home search at the link below on the screen. You can also grab our buyer and seller guides while you're there. In July, there were 28 closed sales in Darien. Last year, there were 33 sales at this time. And in 2022, Darien had 41 closed sales in July. Take a look at the five-year trend. So 28 sales is low, even when you compare it to July of 2019, which was before the COVID market. And it's a good indicator that we could sell more homes if we had them. In Darien, the median sales price in July of 2024 was just over 1.92 million. Last year's median sales price was roughly 1.65 million. The median sales price in July 2022 was just over 1.85 million. Check out the five-year trend. If you want to get an idea of what your home is worth, you can run an instant valuation at the link below. You might like ours better than some of the other options out there if you'd like periodic updates via email over time as your value changes. At the end of July 2024, there were 24 sales pending in Darien. At the end of July last year, there were 25 sales pending and there were 28 sales pending at the end of July, 2022. Take a look at the five-year trend. Okay, so that's a great look in the rear view mirror, but what's happening now? Activity has picked up considerably in the first week of August, likely due to the speculation of falling interest rates. Could this be an early start to our fall market? Well, it's too soon to say, but keep an eye out for our September market report where I will discuss how the upcoming election and falling interest rates are expected to impact the market this fall. And if you're planning to buy, take advantage of the next few weeks because many buyers and agents will be distracted with vacations, which will improve your odds of success. If you're thinking about buying or selling, call me.